Hello and welcome to the Love, Peace, Truth, Camera podcast. I'm your host, Leanne Brown, and I've got the incredible Carly Spell with me today. She is known as a common law lawyer, but also universal and spiritual law is her forte too. This is going to be amazing. So get your pen and paper ready if you really want to know how to reclaim your power. Enjoy the podcast. If you're in China, you just know it's corrupt. They want it, they want it to be like that here. People are pretending to be 12-year-old kids, mate, and they're not. Yeah. They're 40-year-old men. Now we're getting bombarded with all these death numbers, but there's no context there. He'd got one child pregnant. He'd raped many others, and we had evidence to prove that. Do you think evil still exists today as it did back then? And the answer should very simply be yes. This week's podcast is sponsored by Belief Coding, created by the amazing Jessica Cunningham. Belief coding works by changing them core beliefs within our subconscious that we have picked up through our childhood, through trauma, or even our past lives. It really is life changing and there has been so many people had profound experiences. They have changed their beliefs from, you know, chronic pain, epilepsy, money blocks, insomnia, or just generally increasing their uh, levels of self-worth and, and feeling more confidence, like public speaking, it is absolutely life-changing. I've had the pleasure of doing this and I've done the facilitating course and it has been amazing and I've been able to go on and help others like change their beliefs too. If you want more information, Jessica is running a three-day course on the 4th, 5th and 6th of April. This is the last one until September. So do check it out on Belief Coding on Instagram or Facebook. Alternatively, click the link below to check out how you can subscribe to become your own facilitator. Carly, welcome Hi. to the show, my Thank show. You. Thank you. I know, yeah, it's <laughs> We've nice. been on the Divine Show, which is where we met yeah. a few weeks ago. And yeah. um, oh my God, you just blown me away with all <laughs> your knowledge. And I just had to had to get you on. I've been really looking for um, for someone that um, could do this teaching and, and yeah. edu try and educate people because people that have been on have, have said bits and pieces about the common law and how they've yeah. used it to help get them out of sticky situations with this whole madness that's been going on. But you are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> well, it's a, I suppose it's just like a, it's a passion, isn't it, more than anything, I think. I'm just a bit of a nerd with a passion, as I say. So, um, it should be everyone's passion, though, let's face yeah. it, because it's the only way we're going to get ourselves out of this situation yeah. that we've been indoctrinated for so long. So for, first, let's, um, you know, what is common law? You, what's the difference between that and the universal and spiritual law, which was yeah. something that not I think, yeah, I, I think there's a, I get called a common law lawyer, but I think it's a bit of a, a misconception because obviously the common law, if there's, there's 63.5 million people in the country, um, if we all decide to go with the common law, then it's a belief system. All, all systems are belief systems. That's it. Um, but obviously you can't take a common law defense into a statutory court into a statutory jurisdiction. Um, jurisdiction means law, words. Juris is law, diction is words. And, and these are the traps that they, they have on us, really. Um, yeah. it's, the language is the trap. That, that, um, that's the that is the power isn't it the yeah. language and that is how they've enslaved us and you know twisted yeah. that we're totally unaware of the words that we're saying that carry that vibration and energy yeah and that's how they've like made us yeah. completely in shackles for so long yeah yeah and um like like we said on um you know on divine it, we've always been slaves um you know that's why uh, moses parted the red sea to free the slaves um, they just found another way to do it because we started to see the prison, you know, historically. Um, so they've imprisoned us with language. They've imprisoned mm. us with, with, like I say, it's a vibrational thing. It's a frequency thing. Um, and, and like I said, you know, it's that iconic or that Ikean thing uh, where, you know, you're born into a prison, but you can't see it. You can't touch it. You can't smell it. So we've nothing to kind of evolve out of really or at, at least with this trap on our consciousness but as we are starting to see the game then we can learn the rules of engagement but even the game itself is a game you know mm. and the game is to stop playing the game really 
Is that know, possible? As I say. Well, that's the difficulty, isn't it? Um, it's very difficult. And it's it's a trap that they have on us. And I always use the the, the David Bowie, the labyrinth. Have you seen David Bowie? I'm love, just showing my age. I, I love the labyrinth. <laughs> it's one of my favourite films. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. one of my favourite films. And, you know, it's a young girl who's coming to take back the child that was stolen, isn't it? You know, mm. and he sets her all these traps and yeah. he sets her all these games. And at the end, she can't remember the line. But the line is, you have no power over me. And he's yeah. like, oh. Yeah. And that's the game. Do you do you really believe that language is powerful enough to take back our yeah. power? Yeah, I think uh, just you know, that alone, because what's yeah. stopping them like, you know, they like, think of everything that's happened over all the years and yeah. people have been sacrificed and beaten and thrown in prison and for, for rebelling and standing up. Is yeah. that because they weren't using the right language? Is it is it that powerful? I think, like I say, you know, it's all about jurisdiction with these people in, in, in the in the law sense or the legal sense. You know, they're going to entrap you with words. Yeah. Um, you can't try a fact in a fiction. So they will literally will not read any paperwork unless you endorse it in a particular way. You have to play the game because they won't, they won't turn it over. You know, you, the, the first thing the bar society get you to do is to swear your oath of allegiance to the bar, which is the bar mitzvah, which is, you know, babble. You know, you're talking in Babylon in Babel. Uh, so the whole language, every every time anyone goes and gets represented, so that means you're being represented by a solicitor or a bar mitzvah or a barrister. Um, and actually you're in a bank, you know, the, the court is a bank. So you postmaster, see so bank, you know, when you, when you talk about judges and barristers and solicitors. So what they're doing is they're representing you off the land and taking you onto the maritime sea and they're using jurisdiction to do it. And jurisdiction is law words. Um, and it's just a trap on us. So when we get, you know, the first thing they'll say is, you know, you need to go and get legal advice. You know, you need to go and, you know, um, or legal aid even. They want to give you that because as soon as you do that, as soon as you sign over your power of attorney, you actually declare yourself a lunatic and an imbecile before the court. That's right. Yeah. And that's how they trap you, you know. And the only people that get paid in those situations are them. You know, you pay and they get paid because the courtroom is a trust situation in and of, it, in and of itself. Um, and basically they're making themselves the beneficiary of that trust and they're making you the trustee and the trustee has the fiduciary capacity to pay. So once you see that actually we, we are creditors, as I say in my talk, you know, if, if you come, <laughs> I bamboozle them a little bit, but it, I do, it, I, you know, it's purposefully done um, because, you know, the, the, I'm trying to get people to ask the right questions, yeah. you know, asking as king. Um, you keep your status ah. high when you ask questions. It's the same in a courtroom. Yeah. So when we ask questions, then we develop answers. You know, it's the 42 syndrome of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, as I say. Um, they all gather around the quantum computer, don't they, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Is that, that To try book? and understand the answer. Yeah. Oh. Um, and uh, basically the quantum computer, um, they, they ask for the answer of the life, to, to life, the universe, the, the meaning of life, the universe and everything. They ask that question. They want the answer. So when the quantum computer tells them it's 42, they're all very disappointed. So they all go, oh, huh? 42? So there's, you know, people in the millions and trillions that have gathered all, all, from, all from the multiverse to understand, you know, the answer. But they don't understand the answer because they've never asked the question. Because it's about neural, it's like neural plasticity. It's like neural pathways. Mm. Um, and, you know, in, in the Matrix, Trinity in the nightclub to Neo says, it is the question that drives us. Ooh. It's the question. So if we're, if we're asking the right questions, then we're going to formulate the right answers. But people don't because it's a trap. Yeah. You know, we're, we're stuck and our consciousness has been stuck um, into believing that we are debtors and that, you know, um, but actually we are creditors. And that's what I say, you know, if, if anybody takes anything from, from my talks, just remember that you are a beneficiary of the earth and you are a creditor under the creator. Um, and it's just know thyself. We've just forgotten who we are. Um, and wow. it's just been this this slavery and this entrapment on our consciousness, yeah. And as we know, you know, the word, you know, in the beginning was the word. Yeah. And the word has, um, you know, a frequency and a vibration to it. Um, so when God spoke the word or the creator spoke the word, he, he created the, you know, he created atoms world. That's where world comes from because we're in this constant vibrational frequency um, and we are, you know, energy and matter in, you know, matter in movement and we've just forgotten it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, going back to the court, because so you, you're better off representing yourself, basically. Yeah. If you was to go into court, but it would, it would that be wise anyway? Because like you yeah. say, you're going into their maritime law, which is obviously yeah. that's when they've got you, isn't it? Because you are then seen as yeah. 
the, the, the fiction. Yeah. Um, fiction the char- only. Let's go to the fiction character. Yeah. So, so when you're in the court, you, they see you. They don't see you because you're a fictional character, character which comes from the birth certificate. So let's yeah. go back to that. Tell yeah, that. yeah. So the, the only way you can um, you can represent yourself as as a third party. Um, there was a guy who did it in relation to his council tax because. Say you say you want to stop paying your council tax, you are going to have to at some point. I'm right, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And, and you know, council tax is a con. The, the reason that they can charge us council tax is because they're constantly putting us into commerce and contract. That's what maritime jurisdiction is. It's uh, you know, the UK, United Kingdom PLC. Our government is a company. It's a corporate entity. Um, so as I say, you know, it's like the it's like the janitor at McDonald's coming to tell you that you need to do something. Would you do it? No, um, and and that's all that these people are. And and, and no offense you know, to janitors, like yeah, 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 no offense <laughs> to janitors. Yeah, of course, you know. Um, and you know, once we realise that it's actually us that have the power, this is why they're constantly, you know, lowering our status. You know, they're turning us into taxpayers, residents, yeah. occupiers, um, in commerce, um, and they do it with the words, um, and they do it by the legal fiction. So, the the only way you're going to walk into a courtroom is is as the dead straw man. That's all that they can hear yeah. um, because so, the dead can't speak to the living. So people will be like, well, what is a straw man? What yeah, is it? yeah. So, I mean, and, you know, take it back to the Wizard of Oz. That's what a straw man is, the useless sack of straw that had no brain. Um, just ah, as the tin man, you know, yeah. a taxpayer, taxpayer identification number, that's what the tin man is. Um, and he and he paid and he paid and he worked himself to death. No in the way fields. is that what it stands for? Yeah, yeah. The uh, the 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 yellow bricks, the gold bricks of the yellow brick road, um, uh, represent the the ingot bars of gold. You know, wow. they represent the the bond, um, which is the birth certificate. Um, and you know, we're we, we, basically you know we're born, um, and they call it um, you know you're king for a day. Or fool for a lifetime because you are born, <laughs> but then when our when our when our mothers, you know, innocently sign us into the system yeah. via the live birth certificate, which is, you know, they take um, a heel prick yeah. of the baby's foot and they take it from the sole of the foot, and that's why they call the soles of the feet the soles because they give you standing on the land, um, and they take away our rights to land. That's the first thing they do with the birth certificate, um, and the birth certificate is a live birth certificate. In effect, you're signing or you. You know, your parents are signing a promissory note and that's a £20 note, a £50 note. That's all a promissory note is. It's a promise to pay something at a later date. So we're all signed into this, uh, you know, this debt system um, and, we, uh, and we're, we're taught that we need to pay. You know, we, we need to pay for, our, you know, our, our houses. We need to pay for our food, our shelter, our, our, our warmth. But really, we have equitable share of the earth under the first trust and the first trust was the creator gifting us um, the land, the air and the water. That's what the law is, L-A-W, you know. It's the land, the air and the water and they took it all from us via the birth bond. And like back to the Wizard of Oz, they took our wealth. It's about asset stripping us. Um, you know, she wears the ruby red slippers, doesn't she, Dorothy? Yeah. And she clicks them three times to go home because three in law is the magic number and it's the same in numerology. And, uh, you know, again, these things are being told to us um, and they're codified to us Um for those that have eyes to see, we've just yeah. forgotten the game, you know, and they're yeah. telling us constantly. Yeah, I was going to say, because isn't it like one of their rules that they have to show you everything? Yeah. And um, the powers that be or like yeah. them, whatever you want to call them, like, um, yeah, they have to show you. And because we don't, we don't disagree or we don't yeah. like, we don't, um, we, we, we don't say I don't consent <laughs> or, you know, our, our silence is, um, they call it in legal terms, tacit acquiescence. Uh, the whole system relies on this. Presumptions, assumptions, tacit acquiescence and hearsay. That's the system. That's how the law system works, you know. And as I say, it's about it's about different jurisdictions. So the first jurisdiction they'll get you under is the bar society, the, the rules of the bar, which is a it's a private bar guild. And the clue again is in the title. It's just a it's just a company that are bringing you into their places of business to extract revenue from you. Um, you know, this is why when you walk into a courtroom, the judge will walk in and say, all rise, because he's rising or raising the dead fiction. Um, and he becomes um, a high priest of Baal, in, in, in essence. Um, Baal is Bar. Um, bar society is a Bar Mitzvah. You know, the fake Khazarian Jews of old, you know, the Canaanites, basically, who worshipped, um, you know, Moloch. Um, and, Just and the Baal. Jesuit Jews. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, I mean, they're not really Jews. You know, there's not, I have nothing against Jews. No, <laughs> I have nothing no, against no, anybody. No. It's, it's difficult, but isn't they, it? Because... They were told to pick a faith. Mm. Um, 
And the, the, the Canaanites of old picked Judaism, but they're not really Jews. No. Um, and these are, this is what runs, you know, international global banking. Um, and it's a system that's a very old system. Um, like I say, we were always slaves. Um, and when they outlawed physical slavery, they just found a different way to do it. You know, mm. they, they did it with paper, legal means form. You know, so again, when we start to understand the language of it, um, and again, you know, the the Tin Man, um, you know, Dorothy, you know, clicking the ruby mm. ruby slippers. So it's like, because, like they're telling you how to get out of it as well. Yeah, yeah, because like you were saying, um, you know, they they have to tell you. They, yeah. they energy harvest it that way, yeah. you know, because if they don't tell you, then they don't gain enough energy back. Um, and obviously then we get a minion syndrome, you know, where, you know, the people on the ground are doing the dark bidding and they don't even know they're doing it, you no. know. So that's how they get away with it karmically to a degree. But they'll feed on loose energy, so they feed on our energy either way. So, you know, it's like I said in my talks to people, people will say to me, well, why would they want to get rid of the people that are doing as they're told, you know, getting vaccinated? And I said, well, think about that energy for five minutes. Think think about us who are kind of going up against them and saying no, you know, like just like Neo does in The Matrix to Agent Smith. So he just in the end says no because mm. he starts to realise his own power. Mm. Um, so again, you know, they're, they're playing this game to energy harvest us. So we're all running around, starting communities, you know, doing podcasts, trying to get the word out. That creates a whole lot of energy. It's creative energy, but it's still energy. Um, the people who are just queuing up and lining up because, they, well, that's that's boring, isn't it? That's mm. no game at all. Um, so they want the game. And again, you know, it's it's hidden in plain sight, isn't it? Truth in plain sight. They have to tell us. So they put it in the films. They put it in the movies. They put it on the Yeah, I was going to say, do you think set. they do that on purpose for the game? Yeah, yeah, it's for the game. Wow. So they'll, you know, they, they prefer loose energy, as they call it, which is misery and pain. I was under and the impression but... that they were the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and it's not all bad. It's not, you know, I always say I don't want to be a gloom lobster about it. <laughs> so know? if it's a game, you have the power to win. And what is a court? You know, it's, uh, you know, think of it as a tennis Backwards court. Backwards and forwards. Yeah. Backwards and forwards. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a commercial maxim. There's 10 commercial maxims and we're in commerce, you know, when we're in maritime jurisdiction. And um, it's he who leaves the battlefield first loses by default. Now that's that's a, a maxim in law. Um, it's it's a court. You know, you are caught, C A U G H T, like you know the fishermen, the fisher of men, mm. um, and you're dragged off the land and, and put into the, onto the unholy maritime sea, as I say. Um, our surnames, our legal fiction is uh, it's a sigil. You know, it's a mark of the beast. Our Christian names are called the Christian of the Christ because that's who we are of our house. So I would be Carly of the house spell, you know. Um, ah. So they always make us this all caps dog Latin gloss of fiction um, so they can do commerce upon us, so they can act upon us. So, so the surname is is satanic? It's a sigil, yeah. It's, it's a mark of the beast. Um, I said it. I said yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, you know, I do have satanic Tourette's, as I say, you know. So. <laughs> Satanism, Satanism, you know, and, and and this is the game, you know, and I, I don't say it flippantly because I know a lot of people are kind of suffering under that game. Um, but, you know, our ignorance is no defence. Mm. Um, the reason that they get to act upon us in this way is because we don't know we're in the game. You know, that's what a court is. Mm. You have to bat it back. You know, so I'm taking on a clean air charge at the moment that I got for driving through Bath in it. <laughs> <laughs> the climate change you know and I'm just I'm just playing with them yeah. you know so it's you know when we, when we understand the game and then we kind of understand the rules of engagement as I say and it takes the fear away because all fear is is false evidence appearing real that's all that system is you know they say that again false evidence appearing real that's yeah. what a fear is yeah. You know, because their system is built on lies and fraud. Um, this is why corporate entities, corporate, dead speak, that's what corp is, orate, you know, corp dead, orate speak. The dead can't speak to the living, so they have to create the dead you and they drag you into commerce and they drag you off the land. Um, the birth certificate is a is a trust, again, in and of itself, you know, the yeah. set AKV trusts. Um, and, you know, our, when our bonds mature, you know, I, I, like I said earlier, the live promissory note is um, signed by our parents or sinned. That's what a signature is or a sign. A sign wave is of the serpent. Um, and then we are, oh we are we are put into this system. Um, when we don't declare a ourselves is living. A pair that rent then, isn't pair, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pair of, uh, you, you know, your, your mum and, or your mother and your father or your mother um, have just given the power of attorney. 
over yeah. to to that system. Um, and it's all it's all purposely done. You know. Do you think that that's why they're trying to get the rid of the word mother? Have you seen that? They're oh. trying to abolish the word mother because of the trans movement. Oh right, yes. Yeah, oh, well, that's yeah that wouldn't it. surprise me. Yeah. You know, and it's like what I say. You know, there's there's nothing wrong with being gay or trans, but we know that they've been injecting men with female hormones yeah. and injecting women with male hormones mm. for the last. 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you know, yeah. so there's, you I'm know. say inject, we don't mean inject them physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, stuff. vaccines, that's what, you know, oh, I've read, with, I, yeah, with no, I've, I've read the papers, oh, you know, right. that's what they do, you know, right. and, and they put these papers out there because they're telling you, they're telling you that they're doing it. So, you know, we've got a lot Food more gay well. men, we've got a lot more butch women because the, per it's, yeah, and it's being, you know, it's the hormones that they're putting in the vaccinations as well. Um, and injecting people with it because the dark want to invert everything. You know, they're, they're always trying to get us to break yeah. the creator's laws. So, you know, to to turn a man into a woman and a woman into a man, well, that's completely against the creation, the natural creation. And like I say, you know, I've, I've nothing wrong what people want to do behind closed yeah, doors yeah. in their own personal lives. But, you know, we've got to kind of look at it and say, you know, we've got to be honest about what they're doing. And, and yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's an agenda. Yeah, they're getting, and they're going into children, like they're going after the children, aren't they, at such a young yeah. age? And yeah. it's been obviously, they're almost confusing the minds of children. But I've seen videos of, of them going into schools and saying, well, you you might not be a girl, you might not be a boy, you can yeah, be whatever yeah. you want. You don't have to label yourself. And yeah, yeah. these young minds are just absorbing everything, trying yeah. to figure out like, who yeah. they are anyways yeah, yeah. and even like we know when you yeah. get to like your early teens and stuff like yeah. you're still figuring out who you are aren't you so and hence why yeah. people are having these surgeries and like they're regretting it after because the mind have been messed with they um you know the the they're, they're taking transvestites into schools at you know five yeah. years old to just dis it. discuss these things and that was in Wales I got I got sent the oh, literature it was in Wales of what of, of, yeah yeah they've 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 hit they've hit they've hit Wales quite hard really yeah. with it you know seen the they sex need education areas. thing as well that yeah like... they, yeah so they were offering children sex changes at five years old in, in <sighs> literature from school and that the parents if you know are stopping them. Um, wanting to have this sex change, then obviously you know the, you know it's all it, it all ends up you, know, you get called anti-Semitic or you know you, you you're anti-gay or you know it's not it's just that we know that you know Satan is on the march and it's, it's a funny it's not thing, even really. hiding that now is it that's what I was going to say yeah the thing is he's you know he's actually on the stage now and still mm. people can't see no. it you know and that's what's you know scary yeah scary. Um, and it, you know, this this fourth industrial revolution, this, uh, you know, this, you know, the the transhumanism um, that they're going for. Um, again, you know, you shut off your source code um, by taking an mRNA vaccine, mm. which actually, you know, changes, changes your genome gene. and your yeah. code. Well, then you are classed as corporate property. You know, you are owned by a company because we are via the birth certificate anyway in, in the presumptions. Um, as, as the, the straw man, but not as the yeah, actual. Yeah, not as the actual living man or woman. Yeah. Well, this is the, like I say, presumptions, assumptions, tacit and hearsay. You know, those presumptions stand until we turn around like Neo in the Matrix when he's running away from Agent Smith and just go, no. no. Yeah. You know, and it's as simple as that. And, you know, it's talking, but, but the game really is to stop playing the game, you know. Yeah. But and I it's mean, it's very it, difficult. It, so yeah, it is <laughs> difficult because obviously when you're saying, say no, but so people watching this will be like, okay, so I've got, don't want to pay my cancel tax. How would they go about that? I mean, is it all, yeah. all bills, all utility bills that are all of them like a con fraud yeah, or whatever? Yeah. And we yeah. are able to stop to stop that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, I wouldn't kind of suggest to people to just stop paying the council tax until they know what they're doing. Exactly. Um, because you're just going to create more fear for yourself, yeah. really, or more stress or more worry. Um, but there, there are ways to do it. You know, equity um, or chancery court is where we prove commercial fraud. And everything these people are doing is commercial fraud. Because your credit account or, you know, like the in The Wizard of Oz, your ingot bars of gold, um, your share of, of this earth, um, we have a credit account. Um, this is the trust from the birth certificate. This is the trust from the birth certificate, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what we should be doing is um, we should be discharging liabilities or setting things off with equitable consideration. That's what beneficiaries do. Beneficiaries don't pay, but what they do is they switch it. So, you know, you get your gas, your water, your electric, you know, you'll note that you won't ever get a true bill. These are statements of account and it's all in the language again, you see. Wow. Because as a beneficiary, if you actually um, uh, afforded a bill, if you actually get to see a bill, um, you can discharge it 
um, which is why they give us debit cards and credit cards. Debit and credit are actually the same thing, you see. Every time we, we ping a debit card, we actually, uh, they call it um, an abandoned credit. We actually gift the credit to them. Um, so there's no such the, the debt is 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 what we create. We we create it as debtors because we self determine as being a debtor. You know they're telling us that we are um, a debtor at all times and that they are creditors, but actually they they're dead entities. They are dead two D fictional entities. They can't create anything. We are the creators at all times. You know we are those uh, we are living men and women. We have the ability under the creator to create. You know we are co creating. Is that like an energetic? you mean yeah and, and is that like and actually in money you mean yeah so yeah it's, it's it's actually yeah when say say for example like you know this is the this is the big hitter you know you've got a mort gauge you know your mortgage um mort means dead death um and gauge is pledge it's a death pledge you know they actually uh, it's french latin um and I always joke at my talk saying they had to change the name of it in France because <laughs> they weren't as keen to sign up for a death pledge. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, um, yeah, I bet. So when you sign or sin, wow. when you sin on that agreement uh, by using your beast name um, and you get taken off the land and dragged into their jurisdiction, then what you're doing is you're actually it's actually a promissory note. Again, you've actually created that value and discharged that house. You've already paid it for want of a simpler term for people. From your trust. You've already paid for it, yeah. And then they leave you to repay it. <sighs> repay means you paid again. So again, they're giving you repayments. They're telling you, it's just in our ignorance, we don't see. Oh, wow. So you then go to work um, to earn money to pay for something you've already discharged. Um, and, and and this is the debt slavery that they've got us under. Same with your gas, water and electric. Your gas, water and electric are um, just services that are being offered to you by the security trustee, which is the Bank of England. Um, and because we don't act as beneficiaries to discharge these things, um, we, we're always paying with promises. Mm. Promissory notes are just £10, £20, £30. And because we're paying with these promissory notes, they class us as naughty children. We're classed as minors um, in trust law um, until we go and take back our estates, which is about standing up and saying, I don't need the state to be a parent anymore. I'm I'm ready to handle my own affairs. But again, they they hide the game. And when people start to wake up to the game, what do they do? Kill them. Kill the creditors so that they don't wake up. Um, and that's what we're seeing outside at the moment with what the vaccines. What do you mean physically and, kill them? Yeah. You mean, oh, you mean kill them as in like, yeah. Yeah, kill the creditor. Well, the game well, is yeah. to kill the creditor, you know. Right. Um, that's why they send our men off to wars. I'm, I'm not saying that men don't war, but um, that that's part of it in banking terms, you know, because once we... It's like what I say, you know, forget the COVID stuff, forget it all. But the one thing that people uh, need to realise as a fact is that they are being sent to work to pay something that's already been paid off. Yeah. Um, the debt's been paid. That's what Jesus on the cross is. You know, this is why they get you to sign or sin next to a cross. Sign here. Oh, my God. The sign of the cross. Wow. The double cross. That's what all flags are. Um, you know, our, our UK flag is a double cross. We're, we've been constantly double crossed. And oh they're telling us God. all the time. I know. Wow. And, you know, again, you know, I always say to people, don't listen to me even, you know, do your, do your homework, do your due diligence. But the one thing that you can't, um, nobody can argue is a fact. You know, yeah. a fact is a fact and you can't argue a fact. And a fact is that you are going to work to pay for something that you've already paid. Yeah. But you've not paid it because we don't have the ability to pay because money doesn't have any value. No. We might as well all it's just be passing energy, around bits time, of rocks. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we're all doing everything for each other for free. Uh, we live in a utopia without the utopia, as I say. You know, we've just forgotten who we are. And that's all that the game is. And the original sin or sign or sign wave energy, the original sin was Eve taking the apple and giving it to Adam. And the debt was paid when Jesus came back and sacrificed himself on the cross to pay the debt. Um, and again, we've forgotten that that debt's been paid and we keep acting as debtors and we keep paying. So we're not free. Um, so yeah. what do you think about these, all the, you know, and saying, oh, you've been distracted and all these um, um, laws, but they're not laws, are they not? No. They're legislations that are being passed. Yeah. Like to, um, like about, you get, like, for instance, getting fined and going to the protests and all the rest of it. Now yeah. they're doing more about protecting people from being charged, um, yeah. being, um, having to give compensation for the, for the vaccines that they've give out and yeah, obviously yeah. potentially killing Lots and lots of people. Yeah. Uh, and again, you know, our, our, 
our DNA, our code is Yahweh. It's Y double well, it's Yahweh without the vowels. And I can't remember the letters, but um A E I O U. A E I O U, uh, yeah. like we were saying, your A E I O U is was a demigod from Babylon. You know, this is why they get our children. Yeah, you said this. That's and they sit them in front of um a classroom and just get them to repeat things over and over again. Mind numbing them. Yeah. These are these are little powerful entities who are repeating, repeating, repeating information, you know. Um and we know, or may, who knows, but say, con- say consciousness creates our reality and not the other way around, you know. It's that double slit experiment of uh, quantum mechanics, you know. Nothing exists until we actually view it. Yeah. Um, and if we're creating this reality, then, you know, they're going to take children from a very young age. You know, you could take a child and teach it meditation or, you know, how to, how to really use its mind, but they don't want that. They don't want people thinking for themselves. No. Um, so they get these the, the children just to repeat this repetitive um, nature. And, and like I think I might have said it on Divine, but, you know, in, the English language is phonetically the direct opposite of Hebrew. They put the vowels in so that we're constantly sinning all the time. I was going to say, what about Sanskrit and Hebrew? And that? Are they like yeah. ancient languages that were benefit, beneficial to us? Yeah, yeah. And, then, and, and it's the English language, is it, it's that's the construct. been... Right. Yeah, so, you know, when we say good morning... Yeah, we're morning, morning. Is, yeah. yeah, you know, good so rising. I, I was trying grand to, rises. Remember, I know yeah. I'm terrible for it. Or good, good dawning. Or, yeah. But um, you know, this is when we wake. We're awake. Yeah. You know, we are we are in a, a land of death, um, and we've just not seen it. We are the dead. We are the walking dead. That's why the you know the zombie movies are so popular. You know, the Walking Dead because they're telling us we're all wandering around asleep. Yeah. Um, and you know, people are waking up. Um, which is why they've, you know, they've delivered us this next war, which is a spiritual war, yeah. you know, and it becomes pick a side really. Um, you know, you, you're either standing and speaking your truth. And as I say, you know, faith without deed is the realm of Hades. You know, we can't all just go, you know, jibber jabber. You've got to stand up and you've got to, you know, be counted in it. Else, uh, you know, it's what's that famous saying, you know, evil kind of wins when good men say nothing. Yeah. You know, our silence is yeah. is is, is um, the acquiescence. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so yeah. what about have you done any traveling since all this um, pandemic no I mean I, I wasn't much I'm not much of a traveller anyway really though I do fancy going to everyone's going to Mexico aren't I went they? to Mexico in January <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, for yeah, three yeah. weeks it was amazing yeah I, I wouldn't mind doing but I mean again you know um, those situations are, are mainly fear based situations that they're going to you know it, there would be no pandemic if you just turn off your TV and I mean like you know well, I mean? yeah. no one's dropping like flies are they you know and right at the beginning of this you know common sense was out the window because they work yeah. on they work on emotions so people kept posting pictures of coffins and I said what does that prove um I said so I went on to the office office for national statistics and the death rate was the same in fact it was lower than yeah. than an average so I said if people are dying then you know where did the people that die normally go are, are, yeah. they, are they off to our off dying in the woods for our convenience <laughs> like you know let's just use some common sense yeah and, but the the emotion of it mm. you know I got I got absolutely lynched you know yeah and I, me <laughs> yeah I told them about viral theory I said you can't catch a virus the only this way is interesting as well we've spoke about this I think Dean Garnett has spoke about yeah. this but let's let's talk oh. about that for a second yeah I think it's fascinating. I, you can't catch a virus. No. Well, I mean, and who knows, really? You know, I haven't got kind of the equipment to kind of test it out. However, you know, I did a deep dive on viral theory and I, in three weeks I'd pretty much figured it out, you know. Um, and that was a big wake-up call for me, you know. It's just one of those things where they're saying, there's a virus, everyone, everything's shutting down, everybody run inside the houses. I was like uh, Will Smith and I am legend with the dog, you know. <laughs> there was just nobody about. It was like game over. It was hilarious. I loved it. I yeah. thought this is brilliant. <laughs> the, the roads were dead and traffic was, was great um so yeah i did i did this deep dive on viral theory and i did some videos on it early on um there's a guy called tom barnett if people want to have a, a look into it he's done some great videos on it um so i kind of did my own version of it and oh my god yeah i got lynched you know mm. they're going it's in the droplets it's in the droplets yeah. and and people were screenshotting me um you know pictures of you know the front cover of webmd saying that you know we all catch things in droplets and i'm just going oh <laughs> God. Yeah, like it's not though, is it? It's a, it's it's about terrain, you know. It's germ theory v terrain, you know. And they've lied Stuff. to us about everything. Yeah. One and one doesn't even equal two, you know. We, you know, I think who was it? He said like, you know, once the you know the, this program of uh, disinformation is complete, when we believe all the lies, you know. Um, then but, it's the fear of actually 
yeah. and the realization of that we have been lied to and yeah, then people everything that you've followed and everything that you've done yeah. and everything that you've told your kids and yeah, you know yeah. that's the scariest thing and that's what's well, yeah. ego isn't it that yeah, prevents people, people can't let go from, yeah. yeah people then get very venomous because yeah. you know they've not had an original idea in their heads i mean have any of us really you know even to me you know, I'm reading books, I'm reading um, articles, I'm, I'm watching things on YouTube, you know, I'm doing my research, but it's all information, you know, and I piece it together in the way that I piece it together. And, you know, some people like to come and hear me talk about it, you know, and that's all that it is really. But, you know, we probably really haven't had many original thoughts in our heads whatsoever because every book, everything that we've been given is a construct, you know, um, and that's why it's so important to, to kind of understand the construct more really. Um, you know, the game is to stop playing the game mm. um, because really, you know, it's a nonsense. And like I say, that cognitive dissonance, people don't want to, they can't let go of it. The whole realities have been built on that, you know. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of my kind of, say, middle-class friends from university are going to have a bit of a shock when that fiat system, fiat means fake in legalese. Yeah. When that fiat system goes down, and like I, I think I might have, again, said it on Divine, but... You know, it's going to go down like the Titanic and it's going to have a big suction uh, because people want things to go back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> but when they lose their houses and yeah. when they lose their cars, um, you will own nothing and you will be happy. Mm. Um, we didn't people own anything anyway. Even, and that is literally the yeah. World Econo Economic Forum is saying it blatantly <laughs> on videos with Prince yeah. Charles stood there, Klaus Schwab, like yeah. everybody's like, just yeah. can't In cannot, a daydream, yeah. they? The walking what dead. What do they think? Like, I mean, I get That's that it. some people be like, oh, well, I'll, my, I'll get my debt clean and I'll get, I'll, I'll, it's basically, yeah. they'll just probably say, oh, it's just like being on the dole or being on yeah. your, like, just credit from the government and, but yeah. what about the people yeah. that have got money in banks that are actually wealthy? What's going to happen to their money? Is it just going to like literally disappear? Because if they've not, yeah. and is this, if yeah. they haven't invested in digital? Yeah. And they're trying to stop that. Yeah. Apparently they're trying to make a crypto against the law now. But, you oh, know, really? Uh, allegedly. I, I got told that, whether that's going to happen or not. I mean, I I don't know too much about crypto, to be they honest. They are I'm, stopping people I'm buying bit, it. Oh, yeah, they are. From yeah. the banks, anyways, yeah, yeah. from your cards. Um, I, when I kind of, obviously, kind of go around the country doing my talks, um, that's one thing that people are saying, you know, they're trying to get the money out of the banks to invest in crypto. I'll buy some silver, some gold. And they're, they're having a half-hour grill on the phone saying, what, what are you doing with this money? What's well, my money? Yeah, I'll do what I want with it. Yeah, What's exactly. it got to do with you? You know, and and that's just a yeah, that's just to buy you know actual lawful um, assets. Um, people have signed their mortgages, you know, their mortgage agreements or their loan agreements, and and the signature's not on the page because they'll have signed it in a box, and anything boxed in legal terms isn't on the page. It's called the four corner rule. This is why, you know, you'll never get a true document or document, you know, because it's a maritime thing. Doc. The dock. So when we dock our our ships, um, you know, it's gone. The pensions are gone. The, the whole banking system will go down. It's a Ponzi scheme at best, and that's what's happening now. So people who when just want things to go back to be? normal, it's going. Yeah. Um, I'm, you know, this isn't legal advice. No, no. <laughs> I say, uh, you know, and it's certainly not financial advice because I'm no financial advisor, you know, so don't don't listen to me as I say. But um, I, I think this year. Do yeah, Yeah, potentially. Wow. All this stuff that's going on, you know, in Russia, we, we tried to buy some, uh, well, we bought some Russian rubles um, and then they stopped it because ah. uh, Russia, I didn't know this, but Russia is the only gold-backed currency, you know, because our currency, current C, yeah, um, you know, currency, yeah. you know, fiat means fake. It's a fake system. It's counterfeit. Um, and... Yeah, that, that system basically is going down, you know. Um all all these loan agreements, these mortgages have all been signed on 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 no no pieces of paper. Not not single skin pieces of paper. It's all boxed. So it's all gonna go and they can do it and they can do it legally. You know, legal is a funny word. Um it allows bad people to do a lot of things. Um you know, legislation isn't law. Legislation is just given the force of law by the consent of the governed. It requires our consent. And it goes back to natural law and spiritual law. You know, um, as living men and women, we have inalienable rights. We have equitable share of the earth. We shouldn't be paying anybody to just be. be here. No, yeah. and we've forgotten, you know, and that system is, uh, like I say, it, it's bringing itself down, um, but it wants to replace itself with something, um, which is a social crediting system. You know, you get your vaccines, you get your social crediting system and you'll, you'll do as you're told, you know, yeah. you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. 
So you think that that people that are going to be like Neo, no, yeah. and not buying into that and not taking the social credit, and then yeah, it, it's the beginning of starting afresh, isn't it? Starting yeah. our own system yeah. in a sense of, of yeah. It's good. We've got where to go, do you see got, it going? We've got to go back to the land, you know, the land that are in the water. That's what we were given dominion over in Genesis in the Bible, you know. And, um, as I say, you know, I'm not into organised religion. Um, you know, religion means to hold back, to thwart, uh, forward progress, to bind, um, you know, for we are legion and we are many. Um, we legion is the satanic Roman system, <laughs> you know, my satanic Tourette's. I was doing well. Yeah, um, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but it's the, it's, the, it's the Roman satanic civil system. Give right. unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Give unto God what be God's. Um, and we've all been paying Caesar. Uh, and we've given up our inalienable rights for the benefits and privileges of a Roman satanic system. Um, and we've all been the walking dead, the dead legal fiction, you know. Um, uh, and, and we are waking up to that game. And, you know, part of that is going back to the land, taking back what was stolen from us, you know. Um, under the Set AKV Trust, they took away the land. It's called, it's called the Triple Crown of Baal. And Baal is Beelzebub. Um, so you know, Beelzebub. We took, what's that? Beelzebub, Satan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> talking in code now, but you're still getting it out there. <laughs> and as I say to people, you know, you don't have to believe that system, but they do. You know, that's yeah. what a, that's what a judge is in his Saturnian robes, Saturn, Satan, set. He wears the black robes of death, of Satan, of Saturn. Um, and again, you know, this is the system. So under the Set AKV Trust, they took away our rights to the land and then they took away our rights to our, our bodies, our personal property. And then they took away our rights um, to our souls, which is our ecclesiastical property. Um, and like I say, it's called the Triple Crown of Baal. It's always in threes. You know, three is the magic number. Um, and, and it's a presumption and it's their presumptions and those presumptions stand until we rebut them. Um, and stand up and say, I am not that dead legal fiction. I'm a living woman. Um, I was talking with um, a friend of mine and he said, it's actually our presumptions really, you know, because we are self-determining as that legal fiction. Mm. Um, Miss Carly Spell. Yeah, that's me. You know, so we keep we keep standing up and, and, and being in this commercial world um, and saying, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Um, when it's not. Um, and again, you know, we are creditors. We're not debtors. We create the value, you know, so we are the bankers. There's only one banker and it's us, you know, but they they they, they shift it in the game, you know. Um, a friend of mine's been on a, I think I said this to you, I've been on a common law course and then obviously she's done the constable course and she was yeah. saying that apparently when you're a constable, you have, um, you, you, you're all like, yeah, you have power over policemen and women yeah, yeah. or something because... Obviously, that's yeah. um, well, it's a belief system, isn't it? They're just yeah. wearing a, they're just wearing a fancy uniform and wafting around pieces of papers, but yeah. they believe that they have the authority over you. Well, they don't. They have the authority over the legal fiction, but they don't have authority over you. So when a policeman stops you and says, say, uh, yeah. "Miss Bell," and you go, "Yeah, that's me," you know, they're, they're yeah. getting you into commerce. You know, they're dragging you into maritime waters, into the shipping lanes. Yeah. You know, that's where we all are. Um, our legal fiction is a is a vessel. They call us a vessel, uh, born of a cantia, they call us, vacant goods. We are chattel. Um, and again, you know, actually, we're all trust fund babies. We just don't know it. Um, yeah, where is this money then? That we're, we're, this is what I was saying to you. Um, <laughs> yeah. How can we access it? Because I was, I was looking into potentially deregistering myself and my children. Yeah, then you yeah. were saying potentially by doing that, you sort of... You yeah, know, I mean, you can. Cutting yourself it, off from yeah, I mean, the trust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the, you know, as I say, the bond, the birth certificate bond is an asset to you. Um, it's just that we're not told how to utilise it, you know. Yeah. And, and what they do is they take the credit, they take the wealth that we abandon. Um, you know, they call us the guayim or, or the, you know, the cattle. We are the stock. That's what the stock market is. But we are the stock. No. Um, and our bonds are traded you know, amongst the elites, L is the Elohim. Um, it's Elohim. satanic. That, yeah. yeah. You know, it's all comes from the Bible again. You know, the Vatican means serpent sorcery. That's the name of it. Yeah. Well, you can see in, in it when it's yeah. the whole actual. Have you, yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Like, with the snake. The, 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 seat, the... Yeah. The seat of the pontiff or the pope um, or the papa, the dog father, the dog father, you know, the dog star of Sirius where the Nephilim came from. These are the fallen ones in the Bible. You know, they've come from somewhere to enslave humanity. I think, and this is just what I think from, from studying, you know, I think humans are quite docile, quite, you know, quite peace-loving people. Um, 
And they cloned us and, and did something to us and, and gave us kind of a hive mind. But, you know, that's probably just going a little bit too uh, off the charts. What do you mean by a hive mind? <laughs> So I suppose like, you know, um, we, you know, this, this ability just to go to work, you know, to kind yeah. of be on this, you know, um, hamster wheel of debt slavery, as I say, and, and kind of not question it and mm. just kind of do as we're told to a degree, you know, it is an energy harvest, whoever these people are, mm. um, do you but think certainly they're stripping our wealth. Different dimension? I think so, yeah. yeah. But, you know, it probably makes me sound a little bit loopy. But, no, I'm, you know, I'm well <laughs> open to it all. Me, definitely. Yeah, po yeah. portal of death, I say, Leanne. Portal of death. You know, that's probably the only way out of here, really. Yeah. Um, you know, what about the moon? What's your theory on the moon? I think that's like a soul harvesting centre. Like a regeneration. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's why Pink Floyd wrote about the dark side of the moon. Um, that's why they have the six-coloured rainbow coming out of the uh, album cover. Um, because the six-coloured rainbow represents Lucifer. Um, it's imperfect. So what's everybody doing? They're uh, putting rainbows everywhere. Yeah. The NHS is putting rainbows everywhere. Yeah. But it's a sigil, it's a mark. It's bringing in that dark energy, you know. Wow. Dark to light, in my opinion, is Satanism to Luciferianism. That's what the new age is, you know. That's why I always say beware the new age because they'll come in and they'll make the solution. The darker tricksy. You know, what they're doing now, all this bumbling around, is that's not the real game. The real game is when they'll come give, you know, problem, reaction, solution, as mm. as Daddy Ike would say, as I call him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they'll come in with that solution and it will look very much like the light, um, but it's not the light. It's actually something far darker. Light, yeah. yeah, and that's what I think. And I do think the moon is some kind of, yeah, soul harvest. It's, it's interesting to note that the moon didn't appear on, um, you know, cave wall drawings or you know like really old I mean and I'm no historian but um it kind of appeared um around the time of Egypt I think if I if I'm remembering this correctly and don't quote me because I might not be um so that's appeared from somewhere at mm. some point I think um like like the Truman Show what does he do yes Christoph runs it from the moon doesn't he yeah um and then Truman tries to escape um, and in the end, you know, he hits the wall, doesn't he? Yeah. Which is kind of like representative the of the ice wall yeah. Yeah, that we have. You know, I'm always laughing with uh, my fella. You know, we're trying to we're trying to be crypto millionaires so we can just go buy a big tanker and go find the ice wall. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Amazing! I'm coming, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll try and take as many people with us and have a party on the way. You yeah. know, well, like Admiral um, Bird said, yeah, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Admiral Bird, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I was watching some stuff on that the other day. You know, and. But even that, maybe that's just a show that they give us. You yeah, know, who knows? You don't but know what's real Truman what's hits that wall, doesn't yeah. he? Um, and, you know, you he the... thinks he won't leave, but he says, you know, what does he say? And if I don't see you, good morning, good evening, yeah, good night. Good night, yeah. <laughs> Have out. you seen The Free Guy? No, no. Uh, with Ryan Reynolds. It, oh, no, no. It, it's, that. it's a bit similar to The Truman Show, like the, the, the message behind it, where the guy's mm. in a computer game right, and yeah, he no, is a program that. in the computer game, but he's just an extra. Yeah, yeah. So he just gets <laughs> up and goes to work, yeah. goes in the bank. The, the people that are playing the game have these glasses on. They're like the villains or the superheroes. They go in the yeah, bank yeah. and they basically rob the bank. So it's like give him a, 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 a put a gun up. And then there's a girl in it who takes his eye. And then he ends up deciding that he doesn't want to do the same thing that he does every day. And he wants to go against this program that's been written for him. He uh, doesn't realise he's yeah, in the game. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it, it's that's so it. like everything that you're saying I've not now, seen that. Yeah, you've got to watch it. I know, so, yeah. So the... Um, I think I've got to watch watch me back just saying these stuff, haven't yeah. we, really? <laughs> I keep saying to people, I'm not suicidal. I don't, I'm not I'm not going to be an, end up in a boating accident. No, I know. I know, God. I've got a way to go. No, but, I know. Yeah, no, yeah, these these things. And, and again, he goes you know, against it. Us. Anyways, yeah. he goes against it and he basically becomes... Exactly. He takes the glasses off the player yeah. and he becomes a player. Right, but yeah, then he yeah. figures out that the game, um, it, it's all to do on the outside, the people that are playing it, the, the yeah. guy that's written the game, he basically created, um, originally the program was everyone living harmoniously yeah, in yeah. a beautiful place. And he inf infiltrated it with violence and, you know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. people getting shot on the street and all the rest of it. And it's, yeah. he's got to figure out um, how to get beyond the water you can't go beyond the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like... Um, it's a soul trap. Oh, it's it, yeah, literally, yeah. if you watch oh it, my, it'll be what like... What's it called again? The Free Guy. The Free Guy. Yeah. Mm, it's a new film as well. Oh, right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I've not heard of that one. But I, I, I genuinely think that's what this place is. I think it's a soul trap. Yeah. And until you kind of work the game out, then you're going to keep playing it, you know, um, and, and you will be re-harvested. 
Um, you know, we all have to kind of embody those Christ-like uh, qualities to get out the game, you know, love thy neighbour as thyself, love as the kingly law, you know, charity. Um, and when we start, you know, as I say, you know, Jesus walked upon the maritime waters or he walked upon the water, so shall so should we. Um, he overturned the, uh, the, the the tables of the moneylenders in his father's house, didn't he? So when we all do that, when we realise what banking is and economics and we leave that, um, and he raised Lazarus from the dead, which is the dead fiction, you know, he raised himself, you know, to say, you know, I am not that thing. Get out of my father's house. Um, and my father's house is this, you know, the Bible's the first book of law, but it's an, an allegory, really. They're all allegories. Um, and it's a code, it's codified. Um, and our house is our temples, you know. Um, and this is the, you know, the pineal gland or the Christ consciousness to that to that degree. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what it is, you know. And once you kind of start to, yeah, like I say, walk upon the, you know, the maritime waters and take yourself out of commerce, um, Saturn um, is represented by Satan, by Set, um, as Father Time. You know, Kronos do is you, Father Time. You, it's the trap. Do you think it exists, space? I'm not sure. No, no. well, I've just started I think watching it's a, a documentary again. Yeah. yeah, about it. Um, of only very. I've watched it. The Lost History of Earth. Have you seen it? No, no, no. I'll have to send it to yeah, you. The yeah, link. Yeah. Um, my it, friend yeah. sent it to me, and even just the beginning, just when you actually really start to question everything that's been put to us, yeah. and then the reality of like NASA's never had a Nazis. picture. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's all CGI, isn't it? Literally, I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's so ridiculous. It's like, nobody's questioning this. Yeah. And, and the CGI images change all the time, which yeah. makes it even more hilarious. Well, they've never took a, a, a picture <laughs> no, of no. the Earth as a whole. Yeah, yeah. They've constructed it between slithers of, of bits that they've put yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. That in itself, and they've blatantly said that. That's yeah. out there for everyone to see. But yeah. And that's why they call it NASA, because it's all the old Nazis, isn't it? It's yeah. The, it's the old, the, the Third Reich. They just brought them over, the the, the Nazis. Nazi scientists, you know, um, and and this this is like saying, you know, this is in documents, you know, this is these these are facts, these yeah. are these are checkable facts, you know, yeah. but but you know, they, nobody looks, no, um, and and you know, if the, you say it to someone, they'll be like, yeah, they absolute think rubbish, yeah, 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 but they won't take the time to go and look for themselves. Because it's like it's that cognitive dissonance. They don't want to look, no. you know, because um, then you know it's. Uh, I don't know. If you, have you ever seen? Do you know Bill Hicks, the comedian? Um, he was one. It's kind of one of my I think heroes. I, have, I think I have. I think yeah. I, I know which one you mean. And he yeah. says, like, oh, look at my furrows of worry. Look at my big bank account. Ha oh, oh, ha oh, ha! This has to be real. You know, people want it to be real. Yeah. Um, and you know, you go up against that. Um, and and they'll it's the Stockholm syndrome. They'll fight to defend it, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's what we see, you know. Um, I've I mean, I, like I say, I, I was lynched off about two or three Facebook accounts in the end. I thought, you know what? Yeah, I can't I can't spend that energy anymore waking people up. They don't want to wake up. Um, but when they do, you know, welcome over to the ark. Yeah. You know what I mean? We we'll all do it together. But what I, do you I think makes think a different? Like what do you think? Why do you think people become so easily? indoctrinated mind mm -hmm. control or whatever you want to call it yeah. and other people are so aware like you've been aware of how for how long how many years about 20 odd years now what was the yeah. pivotal point of you realizing that something just isn't right with the world I think well yeah when I was younger I think well my sister died when I was 10 so that was a huge catalyst you know she died of cancer of leukemia um, and then my mum and my dad, they split up. So I, li I literally went from having this kind of family and it was it was over in nine months, you know. Um, and, and obviously my parents were grieving and I was kind of left to my own devices to a degree, emotionally, I suppose. Um, this is probably as emotional as I get, really. But so it woke me up because I started to see, you know, I... I I, I could see, you know, I studied, I then studied cancer and there was, I think we, we only had dial up internet then, you know, there was no uh, doing massive re amounts mm. of research or, you know, I did my, I did my bit, I did my best, but, you know, I, I understood the pharmaceutical industry. I understood then what that was about. You know, I got into kind of uh, conspiracy theories, I suppose, you know, I studied the Knights Templar. I got into my history. I, I, I studied ancient history for quite a long time. So I just, it was just kind of a bit of a, a journey really and you know obviously I, I did the long dark nights of the souls you know I wouldn't say it's been a particularly easy ride but you know when like you say you were born into this place um and it's it's a demonic playground you know um but we don't see it um you know I was I went I was confirmed in the Catholic Church you know that's why they put the ribbon the red ribbon on the confirmation dress because you are a, a sacrifice to Satan Gosh. you know 
Um, that's why we wear, you know, the Saturnian robes when we graduate university with the, you know, the squared masonry cap, you know. Um, and that's why we chuck it up in the air because we chuck it up to Saturn, yeah. we chuck it up to Satan. This is my friend just said, yeah. oh, the graduation going on yesterday in Liverpool. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's satanic as well. And she was yeah. like, she laughed, but then I don't think she realised and she said, oh, my daughter's getting to yeah. graduate in that. But people are just so unaware <laughs> of it, aren't they? And my mum's got a picture of me in my Saturnian roles going, <laughs> yeah. you know, we don't know. I didn't know then, no. you know. So it, it really is like a really big journey, you know, yeah. to... Uh, and as I always say, you know, being awake is such a tapestry. I was going to say, how it's is so that difficult. holding that burden for so yeah. long? Did, did you try and tell other people what you were finding out? Yeah. And what, <laughs> what did they, what did they, how was the reaction? Uh, I soon stopped getting invited on nice holidays. Really? <laughs> with, with friends, you know, people didn't want to hear it, you know. People, and um, them same people, yeah. have they come back to you at all now? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know... Um, it's like anything isn't it I think the the Covid thing um, has woke a lot of people up who were just completely asleep Mm. Um, but still you know some people aren't ready to and and, you know people are virtue signalling themselves off a cliff basically you know it's uh, even now there was somebody that I know was like testing you know through a party for their nan and were PCR testing everybody in the way in because you know in in her mind she thinks she's being responsible and Mm. she thinks she's protecting people and you know it's it's about our intent as well and I kind of get it you know, but unfortunately, forgive them father for they know not what they do, yes. you know. And when when you can see for those that have high eyes to see, see and those that have ears to hear, you know, it's, that's what it says in the Bible, then we have to take the burden of being the loony on, uh, you know, uh, yeah. as, as I said in my talk, I did uh, I did a talk at Truth Juice um, in Birmingham on Tuesday. And I said, you know, you, you, you're the loony in the sandwich board saying the end is nigh, basically. Yeah. It's just that, you know, this is a this is a more kind of advanced way of doing it, you yeah. know, with podcasts and Zooms yeah. and us all coming together going, the end is nigh, <laughs> <laughs> help me. Uh, and, and still they don't see it, but, you yeah. know. And it's, and it's awful, not the end you know, is nigh, it's the end of something awful yeah. and the, the, the uh, birth of something beautiful. Yeah, and, I, and that's it, you know, I don't like to be a gloom lobster at my talks, you know, I, I try and leave people very empowered, you know. I give them a bit of a bit of a Bolton show, you know, it's it's, it's a good laugh. Um, you know, and I, I was in Truth Juice in Birmingham and, um, you know, my, my hero, John Harris, who, you know, obviously they called him a common law lawyer or a freeman of the land, but he never... You know, he never coined that for himself. Um, but he was my hero, you know, and he played that place, you know, and, and Andy, the guy who, who put the, the gig on, was like, you know, people were saying, oh, you know, she's like the female John Harris, which is like a real compliment for wow. me, you know. So I kind of, uh, yeah, I just, uh, it was an honour to play there, you know, and just you're just standing up and speaking your truth, isn't it? It's uh, putting that information out there people can take it or, or, or not but yeah. there's a massive shift occurring or maybe it was always like that and I wasn't there I don't know but it does seem like the no. women there's that divine feminine a, a De- arising yeah because you know? he said that he said they've never had a woman come and do that you know and mm. and the women in the audience as well you know he says yeah. that that's gone up 50 percent. it was always the men yeah. gathering to hear talks like this but you know there was a couple of hundred people there you know so I always say to people you know it shows how much of a turn has occurred because, you know, people just wanted me to shut up years ago, but now people are paying me to turn up and yes. talk. So that's a huge shift yeah. in, in, you know, in our consciousness. And um, I always just say, you know, it's just, I don't have all the answers. I really don't, but I play my part in the game, you know, the great awakening, hopefully. I'm like, oh my God, please just let this be the great awakening. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do another 20 years. Yeah. I I'll can't put, do another 10,000 years. I'll tell you what, there'll be plenty more sandwich boards with you stood, stood side by side, trust me. <laughs> good, good. Um, so yeah. Find um, the ice wall. You're yeah. coming with me. Yes, yeah, in the big tanker, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the Quang. submarine, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you do do talks. Yes. You can be um, booked to yeah, do the talk yeah, um, I am going to um, yeah, do one with do you on the 24th yes. of April yes yeah that's, it's yeah. going to be in Cheadle um, yeah. the details are in the link below um, yes. and um, it's going to be amazing and everyone yeah. needs to well I'm sure they've learned a lot from listening yeah. to you on here yeah um, it's just a good day out as well you know like I said I don't take myself too seriously you know we have a, have a bit of a joke and a laugh if there's a bar there you know you can get yourself a coffee and a cake or yeah. a beer you know and uh, we, we have it's good fun so um, you, you are did you say that you were doing something with mortgages to help people reclaim the mortgages as well yep so I mean I, I run a group called Illuminate and Elevate on Telegram um, so you can find me there I'm sure you'll stick the link um, yeah, we'll do. On, on the video um, 
But yeah, I'm working with a lady who is just about to launch a platform where you can discharge your mortgage yeah, and you can do credit set offs. I mean, from, from my, I'll be doing some work with her. I'll be doing some webinars on there. Um, so it's nearly ready to kind of go. Um, you can also set up trust if you've got assets, you can, you, you know, you can go um, and, and set up trusts as well with us. But also, you what know. What do you mean by that? So everything's trust law in their system. Oh, yes, so yeah. Exactly. So if you've got, if you've got a house or if you've got any, any kind of asset, you can put into an express trust, you can put it into a private trust because basically you're moving it out of their jurisdiction. So you can set up your own family trust. You can then put that trust into um, like a community trust, which is what's going to be offered um, via this lady. I won't say a name because I've not spoke to her yet, but um, it's I, I believe it's, it's ready to launch. So you can kind of come to my group. Um, we have a huge file section. It's all free. Um, I am going to be running um, a council tax um, course. So if people want to remove themselves from the council tax, um, we're going to be doing um, promissory note Zooms and a promissory, we can make our own promissory notes. So we're oh, going to wow. show people how to do that. So make your um, own money, basically. Yeah. This is what's something change, that Chantel yeah. said that um, yeah. the, the guys that were doing the teaching of common law was saying that they they were telling people to urge to get a couple of people out of each area that yeah. to hair salons to butchers to corner yeah, shop yeah. to like what two of of whatever they can around the area. So when yeah. the bank does pull the plug, then they'll s switch or flip, and then they'll go to yeah. their own currency or their own yeah, monetary yeah. system. I would like to live in a world where there was like my. Um, Michael Ubuntu, Ubuntu, the Ubuntu yeah, movement, yeah, what's yeah, it called? Michael Tellinger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it was, it was funny. I was watching a guy called Arthur Christian on YouTube who is basically saying that the whole thing is just a game anyway. It's a fraud, you see. Yeah. So, again, the game is to stop playing the game. Yeah. And he has a real issue with Michael Ubuntu. <laughs> he's always... He has he's a real issue with what? He has a, he has a real issue with the Ubuntu Michael Tellinger. Oh, he's it? always shouting at Michael Tellinger because he's saying that... Um, he's part of this plan to kind of uh, manoeuvre everybody into these kind of, you know, uh, the idea is that basically people are rounding themselves up and creating their own camps, you know what I mean, in that sense. Now, whether that's true or not, but I always find it, he, he, he can be quite aggressive, but he has some really good points. But then, I, like I was saying, I think the men should be being aggressive, really, you know, as long as it's like funneled in the right way. Yeah. You know, we need our men to come back being men, you know, yeah. um, to kind of protect us and provide for us. And, Definitely. you know, we hold, court, we, we hold court for our kings, as I say, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, there, there are new, you know, communities emerging and new systems emerging. And I always say I like to be a part of that, you know. Um, we've just got to be very careful because the dark are very tricksy. Mm. Um, and, and I think having our own currency is a big part of it. You know, yeah. anything that's come out of their system, even crypto to a, you know, to an nth, um, is still their system. Mm. You know, everything's owned. I think there's, everything's owned in this, on this earth by, is it Vanguard and BlackRock? Those are the two biggest mm. uh, corporate entities that own pretty much everything. Yeah. Um, and it's when we start to um, change things from the ground up, you know, be the, be the change you want to see in the world. Yeah. Um, and I think having our own currency and, you know, completely removing ourselves from their system um, is, is a big part of that. Um, and I, that's, that's kind of where I humbly go really. That's mm. the work that I do behind the scenes, you know, to try and uh, empower and, and to, to give people the options, you know, to move into the private really. Yeah. Um, their system is a soul trap of commerce. Yeah. yeah. And it's a recycling system. It's far the time. Um, time to the elites. Time is the currency to the elites, you yeah. know, because you've got, if money doesn't have value, what, what have they got us all doing? You yeah. know, uh, it's so about it, energy harvesting us. So in the words of mm. Neo, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. It's as easy as that. Oh, we're running out of time, but thank you so much for coming on, Carly. Yeah, I yeah. could literally talk to you all day and all <laughs> no, night. Thank you for And I'm me. looking forward to the talk. Yes, um, yes, so hopefully yeah, there'll be plenty yeah. of joining us on that. you have to come to Spellfest. Yes. Oh, yes. Up in the, yeah, 29th of April to the 2nd of May. Um, we're having a completely, it's completely awake, like a freedom festival, lots yeah. of workshops and music Amazing. and fun. And we're going to light up all the woods. And oh, wow. um, so if people are interested in that, that's, uh, yeah. I'll put the link on as well. Yeah. But yeah, you Amazing. must come. But thank you for having me. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. Thank, thank you. you.